<laughs> the dog was older than you. Uh, oh, they had a good life. Um, we've stayed in this little quiet village all that time, so they didn't have any issues with cars or. And we've got a massive garden out the back, so they had plenty of places to go and explore. But as I say, we're looking for new kittens, so we're probably going to get two to three of them. Because um, my son wants one as well, so he still stays here, so. Uh, did that slab get made? I presume it did by now. Yeah, let's go put that in place. Oh, we've got a few slabs, right. Uh, let's put that one down. Right, hopefully they'll get put up quite quick. It seems well. It seems quite common in some countries to keep your cat in, though. Um, okay. I see a lot of people have. Um, they like have, like a caged run running out from one of their windows or something. For cats? I hadn't seen that before. We've always just let ours out. We have a cat flap on our back door and we just let the cats come and go. Um, I've never I just had a purely um, house cat that stayed in all the time. I've had cats all my life, so... Um, this is our... Uh, we've got our... Uh, a weird giraffe, <laughs> but he's locked in this area, so he can't get out. Okay, we have no tanned hide left, because during one of the sieges, they went and got inside the fortress and killed all our animals. But we do have some animals now. I wonder if we... Let me just check, I haven't got stuff that's not penned. Oh, we've got a lot of pools on the go again. Are they not in cages? Where are they? But it's all geese and... We've got a lot of captured creatures that we need to get rid of. Uh, a weird giraffe. <laughs> yeah, not a weird wolf, but a weird giraffe. Uh, we also had a weird elk. Uh, this was the weird elk, but he's now dead because, there you go. Where elk skeleton? Um, we had him trapped in here to start with, and then we had this weird giraffe appeared on the map and came charging across the map. <laughs> so we had to get him trapped in there as well. Yeah, the giraffe was actually quicker than the elk. I couldn't. My dwarves had a job outrunning them. I think I lost one dwarf. So they're locked in here. Um, 
I suppose I could actually get rid of him, because I do have a fortification here. I could shoot arrows through, couldn't I? I just leave him in, in there. He turns into a weird draft once a month. Um, I have a couple of Mark's Dwarves that are on patrol up on the roof here. Um, every month. I'm presuming nothing's got built that we've told to get built. No. Needs wall and floor construction. It would be really scary, wouldn't it? <laughs> Seeing that charging towards you. Quite the thing. <laughs> oh, once once he turns into a were rock, we'll have a look at him. A uh, were draft, we'll have a look at him again. I can't remember if I looked at the description. Uh, right, we need somebody that's um. And this guy's doing everything, but can we go to him? Have a look at his labors. Uh, professions. Labor. I mean, he's got wall floor construction. But nobody's actually going to do it. Right, I've only got two people set up for that. Both grumpy. I wonder if we get somebody else that's not grumpy. Mm. Decorate with shell. Oh, construct rock door. Is that the one down at the the arena? It's near the end of the month he, he changes, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I should actually probably do a quick save because it's been well over an hour. Um, I had it crash last week. Midstream. I hasn't done that for a long time. We'll just do a quick save. And while it's doing that, I might actually go get some coffee. So I shall be right back.
Right, that's a save done. Uh, what were we fought? We were following him because he was away to construct the rock door. That's what he was doing. <clears throat> Which door is he doing? Why is he taking so long? Oh, another kid has slipped into depression. Welcome back. I just realized what you were on about earlier about the butterfly, the butterfly worm. So I didn't see what your, your stream avatar icon was there. You were saying it talked as well. I just realized it was a butterfly on the on there. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna be as good a description, is it? It's usually a bit um vague. Um just a generalization. <clears throat> we have a lot of miasma. Um, we don't need any meetings really, <laughs> but he's making wooden bolts. Oh, somebody is injured. Who's injured? Why is he there, Suturin? Right, I was going to see if there's any more chicks I should be putting in to one of these. We usually had chicks in here, poults. Um, <clears throat> to try and increase the frame rate. Let's say. Uh, cage some of these. Maybe leave um, one male and two females out, but cage the rest. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's, um, I'm a bit particular with my coffee as well. <laughs> um, you can't get them to get some of the coffee that you prefer, or... I drink a lot of uh, Lavazza coffee. It's bad coffee, is it? <laughs> Probably. Well, they don't have to drink it. Okay, I, I, I have uh, quite a few, well, sweeteners in mine. I don't tend to put sugar in, but I like it sweet. I like it milky. Um. I say I, if I'm streaming, I usually just have instant uh, Lavazza coffee, but I have um, Lavazza coffee beans, 
so I can grind my own as well when I'm not streaming. I usually make up a, a big cafeteria a coffee in the evenings. Yeah. Everybody's got their own way of making coffee, haven't they? <laughs> And what suits one person really doesn't suit another. Right, well, Mark Storff has now slipped into depression. He's in... He Was he not in one of our... Oh, we didn't put him in there. We need to move him, I think. Where is he? Yeah, Mess Doss. He needs moved into this group to try and cheer him up a bit. Let's find him over here. Right, he's now into there to try and cheer him up. Um, we should maybe see who else, if there's anybody else on the brink of not being happy. Let's get Dwarf Therapist up. Okay, now oh, you're from Brazil. Yeah, we have some, um, we've got a very good coffee merchant um, about 70 miles from here uh, in a place called Aberdeen. They'll gr they've got heaps of different uh, coffee beans and they'll grind them up however you want them. Well, I've got my own uh, bean grinder here, so I just buy bags of beans. And I grind them myself when I'm needing them. I love the smell <laughs> when you open the bean bag up. It's just that when you open the bean bag up, the smell just hits you. It's just beautiful. <laughs> and then you can just grind them up however you want them. Um, right, hopefully all those pools will get put into the cage. Um, we are, we were opening up Dwarf Therapist. These guys are miserable. <laughs> we've got a lot of very unhappy dwarves. Right, we've just put Mess Doss in. He's sunk into depression anyway. He's probably not going to come out of that, is he? Vabok. I wonder if, where Vabok is. Which squad's he in? He's the mayor. Um, but he's in that squad anyway, so that's okay. We can see on here, can't we, which squad they're in. Maybe we need to be on military. Yeah. <clears throat> right, so he's in the mod ones. this guy he's had look how many kills he's had he's had 19 okay I like ginger I'm not a tea fan but um Ginger tea coffee. Now I really like the taste of ginger, but I because I have um I don't know if you have ginger snap biscuits. Um 
I like to dunk them in my coffee. <laughs> Okay, I, I used to drink tea years ago, but I, I went off tea. My partner drinks tea. Uh, she never used to drink coffee. But uh, I have managed to get her to start drinking coffee now. <laughs> He's stark staring mad. Raven mad. I think we're maybe going to have to move people about. <clears throat> Um, probably can't do these in the mod ones. I should maybe use, move a barn out and into there to try and cheer him up before he goes. Um, utterly harrowed by the nightmare that is their tragic life. Horrified after seeing a dead body. <laughs> yeah, my, well, my, my partner drinks, she doesn't like drink normal she drinks a lot of different types of tea uh, infused with different things in it um, so she likes to experiment with that <clears throat> and she usually has like syrup type flavorings in her coffee uh, instead of uh, sugar or whatever I think we're going to move a barn into into that group before he goes um, insane. So let's go find him. Um, a barn, wasn't it? He was in the ex boyers. There he goes at the bottom. Oh, he's our brewer, so we don't want him going. Uh, mod, so let's put him up here. Uh, we're getting less and less people in our actual squads. <laughs> we might have to balance these out. One, two, three, four. He's got, they've got five missing. Let's move somebody from here. Let's move Tan into here. They've got four missing. Doom boss has got three. Quite tempted to just see if any of these guys are any good at. Um, Marksdorf. We could do with more Marksdorfs, really. It's very unforgiving. Um, it really needs to be tweaked. Yeah, I think they... They remember things for too long, don't they? Just because they saw a dead body when they were 15 or something, it affects them the whole way through. And you can't get rid of it uh, unless you cheat. <laughs> I mean, I know DF Hack has things to reset it, and I, I am quite often tempted to do it. Because <laughs> it just spirals out. Your fork can be going so well, and then somebody gets depressed because a bit, bit of rain hit them on the head. So, yeah, hopefully they'll, that'll change in the future. Because you think you've done everything you can to keep them happy and it d doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, they never. I don't know how how they would show you. I don't know how they could reward you. I can't think of anything offhand that really. Um, I'm maybe going to take some of these cutters out of here. Let me take them out and then put them back in. But I want to see if there's anybody that's good at um, Mark's Dwarf. Or see, I oh know. Nobody. <laughs> no relevant skills. But I think I'm going to take one out anyway. Let's take the poet. Because he's not doing much else, is he? Right, and we'll put everybody else back into the cutters. Yeah, I can't think of any way of doing it either. Um, you would, you would hope if you if you got some one dwarf happy, his happiness would sort of spread to the dwarves round about him. So if you could make that one dwarf happy, it would affect a lot of other dwarves. Because at the moment it just seems one way, doesn't it? If one goes into tantrum, he affects the rest of them round about him, but it doesn't seem to go the other way. You need to be able to train some uh, psychiatrist dwarves or something. <laughs> We've got a few dwarves. Oh, he has he not been moved out of there? He's not been moved out of there. Look, he's dead and he's there. Is he? Oh, he looks dead. Yeah, it's a corpse. So it is tossed to get him out of there. Um, you are hopefully alive. You are. Asked. He's our miner. <laughs> Why is he here? Past is dressed in, he must be injured. Hmm. He's hungry. We'll get him some food. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's all well and good putting things in to um, cure them. But, uh, where are you? Where's Tantum Dwarf gone? <laughs> all on. Doing a Tantum. Is he not in our squad? Hold on. He is. What did he sm did he just smash one of my um statues again? No.
Yeah. No, as you say, if you could actually see them improving, because um, you can't see that just now, and so you just feel like everything you're doing is not helping. But you need counselors or something so they can go and talk to them or. Um, I don't know, it's just very hard to figure out what's wrong. I mean, look at this guy. Let's see. Why is he throwing a tantrum? What's wrong with him? What doesn't he like? And what has been helping? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he feels regretful after throwing something. He's disgusted after after retching on miasma. Well, the miasma doesn't. It goes away, so he shouldn't remember that. He felt pleasure near a fine seat. felt satisfied at work, he felt lonely after being away from family for too long. I mean, he didn't feel anything after seeing all these dead bodies, so there's nothing in there really that should be... making him that bad. Dreams of raising a family. He's very troubled, but most of it is like um, he didn't feel anything after seeing a goblin's dead body. He's got no health problems. He's been treated. So why is he throwing a tantrum? Why have we still got a dead body here? My stone slabs aren't in place yet either. <laughs> Somebody is reporting a crime. Jump. Yeah, you need to do the exclamation jump, I think. And it gets you more money. Like, um, you need to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> and you can also do it at an angle. Uh,